Hello friends, welcome to my channel The Truth of Physics. Today I will discuss over a very important and interesting topic of rotational mechanics. So please watch the video till the end. So let's start it. So today our topic is moment of inertia of a uniform hollow sphere. So suppose so this is a uniform hollow sphere of radius capital R and mass capital M. So we have to find the uh, moment of inertia of the whole body around the axis O x that is the radi that is the uh, diameter of the sphere. Now if O a is a radius of the sphere uh, at an angle theta with the axis O x and Suppose this is OX axis and this is OX axis and this is the radius OA uh, and if we move this radius OA about this axis OX with a fixed angle theta so this will look like this so come to this, this or if we look it from this side this will be a circle okay. this will be a circle so here I have drawn the circle by this dotted line and this line. Now if we consider an another uh, radius that is OB at an angle theta plus B theta and repeat the process, repeat the process again. So we will get and another circle of larger radius that is this circle this okay so the part of the sphere between these two circles this and this this and this the part of the sphere between these two circles is a ring is a ring and the width of this ring that is this is this side is capital R D theta where capital R is the radius and this small angle is D theta so this will be s equal to R theta or simply R D theta and the radius of this ring is capital R sine Theta. As this is the angle theta, so it this will be capital R sine theta. So, what will be the area of this elemental ring? If we cut one part of this elemental ring and extend it, unfold it, so it will look like a rectangular strip rectangular strip the length of this side of the of the rectangular strip is the periphery of this circle that is 2 pi capital r sin theta and the length of this side the small side is r d theta that is the width of this elemental ring so simply the area of this elemental ring will be 2 pi capital R sin theta into R d theta and we know that to find uh, the moment of inertia of this elemental ring the formula uh, we have is di equals to dm into r square where r is the distance uh, between the uh, ring and the axis of rotation and dm is the mass of the elemental ring so we have to calculate first the mass of the elemental ring so if the total mass of the sphere is capital m suppose this is capital m so uh, mass per unit area will be mass m by 4 pi r square so the mass of the elemental ring will be mm. 
mass of the ring will be this into the area of the ring that is this this into this 2 the dm so dm is equal to m by 2 sin theta d theta so the moment of inertia of the ring di equals to dm into r square where r is the distance between the axis and the elemental ring here it is r sin theta so r sin theta whole square and dm we have calculated m by 2 sin theta d theta into r square sin square theta so this is uh, the moment of inertia for this elemental ring so if we uh, add up all the rings all the uh, all the elemental rings throughout the sphere so we will get the moment of inertia of the whole body above the axis OX so for this we have to do nothing but to increase the theta from 0 to pi here it is 0 where the uh, um, elemental ring is uh, in this region in this region and increase theta from 0 to pi and you can simply understand that uh, by this all the elemental rings from small to big and from big to small all the elemental rings we will get all the elemental rings and if we integrate them uh, so we will get so we will get uh, the moment of inertia of the whole body so to find the moment of inertia of the whole body that is i we have to integrate this from theta equals to 0 to pi okay. so we have to integrate this this will equal to Uh, we have separate sin theta d theta and sine, we have replaced sin square theta by 1 minus cos square theta. So this will equal to m by r square as we know that d of cos theta equal to minus sin theta d theta so we put this here sin theta d theta equal to minus of d cos theta so this will equal to minus comes out cos theta minus cos cube theta by 3 from 0 to pi so if we put the limit so this will become cos pi is minus 1 so when I put the upper limit then it will be minus 1 plus 1 by 3 minus uh, now we will put the uh, lower limit to 0 cos 0 is 1 and this will 1 by 3 so this will be minus m r square by 2 into So the moment of inertia of the whole body I equals to 2 by 3 m capital R square.
so i think i have cleared the topic very easily so if you are really benefited by this video so please like share comment and subscribe my channel thank you for watching